Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another video. Uh, hopefully you could tell by the title we are talking about the NVIDIA 590.4401 driver by NVIDIA for Linux. Now, I had this installed. I ended up doing a uh, live stream with it, and multiple games would not work, as well as multiple games had weird performance loss, which didn't happen in the 580 driver. No, so we're going to talk about it. Uh, before we get into it, first off, Stalker 2 now crashes with the 590. Monster Hunter Wilds is still broken and will not fully load in the game. And <clears throat> if I head down to about here, we go up. Uh, there's an issue with Borderlands 4. Not that anybody actually takes that game seriously or plays it. Uh, Black Myth Wukong benchmark apparently is broken. That sucks. What is this doing? Time's out. Ooh, that's not good. And Halo Infinite still is not at full performance. So, uh, there's a lot of things wrong. But not only this, okay? Not only this. If we head into here, um, we're going to actually get to take a look at these benchmarks. Because this is, which one was this? So that this is the 580 driver. Sorry about that. As you can see, we're at 34 FPS with everything pretty much maxed out. I think is ray tracing on and everything. That's why it's 34 FPS. And in the 590, it's 19 FPS, which is a huge loss in performance. Well, not really huge, considering there was not much performance to begin with. But still, this is concerning. And path tracing is set to high, of course. So uh, here's another one. So this is the 580. And as you can see, where's the FPS? It's at 62 FPS. Am I seeing that right? Great. And if we go to the 590, you'll notice that it's only at 36 FPS, right where my mouse pointer is, 36 FPS. This is very problematic. That is a huge loss in performance. Uh, wow, that is actually a really big loss in performance. I don't know what they're over here doing with their drivers, but the 590 is worth skipping. <sighs> I had huge hopes for the 590 driver. Huge! It was actually something I was looking forward to. It was like a Christmas present, you know? And they just, they just rip it out from under you. Now, <clears throat> it's not so cut and dry. They have to rework how Vulkan functions in their driver to be able to fix these performance issues. And along the way, things are going to break. Things are going to stabilize. Things might improve. Who knows? Maybe by 595, it will be done. But for right now, they have to do a lot of work behind the scenes uh, to be able to get to the point where DirectX 12 performance is fixed on Linux and should match the performance, if not better, than Windows. So... I guess it's sort of a waiting game now more than anything. <sighs> and I, I'm, I guess I'm okay with that. But 590 broke a lot more things than I've mentioned. When I went to install it on Fedora like I normally do, I go and install it with the dot run, which is completely and honestly acceptable. Uh, I was met with a black screen. Wayland wouldn't work. Nothing would work. And uh, it was kind of disappointing to see that they changed something so major but yet forgot to mention whatever it was so i don't know what happened but it was kind of annoying uh yeah but there it is honestly and i'm gonna tell you just avoid this driver altogether if you can don't install it on debian don't install it on mint don't install it on anything just let it be all right if you want to be a champ, you can go and test all your games possible and then go back to the 590, the 580 driver, which is what I did. I reported the bugs that I had, which I found, and I went back. If you want to do this, feel free. It should improve the next driver or whatever. But uh, as for right now, I am going to be sitting on the 580 driver until the next one is better. Stability, you know? It's, uh, it's something you really have to look forward to. 
Thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to make a short video about this. Uh, you saw the screenshots, 580, 590, 580, 590. So I hope that was enough for you. I went over other people's issues. And I'll see you guys next time.